So hi guys, welcome back. For if you're new here, it is Ruth with the K, and welcome to my channel. On this channel, we'll talk about beauty, skincare, and lifestyle. So if it's something that you like to see, then definitely want to subscribe. Also hit the bell to get notified every time I post new content so you don't miss out. So with that being said, let's jump right into today's video. Well, you know the saying that the eyes are the windows to our soul? Well, it turns out that the skin under our eyes can see a lot about how we are feeling. You know, a lot of us suffer from dark circles, both young and old, light skin, dark skin. It doesn't matter what race you are, we all suffer from dark circles. And what makes it particularly tricky to treat is that, you know, there isn't one reason why we develop them. It could be due to hereditary, lack of sleep, dehydration, and so many other factors. But today, I'm going to be sharing with you tips on how to get rid of the dark circles for good so they don't keep coming back. Let me give an example, weight loss, you know, we get our goal weight and all of a sudden we stop exercising, we stop dieting. Of course, you gain the weight right back. It's the same thing with dark circles. The moment you stop being consistent, you would get the dark circle right back. So there are different ways to treat dark circles such as pills, lasers, cosmetic surgeries, eye fillers. But today I'm only sharing with you natural ways you can treat your dark circles because I believe that that's the only way to get a lasting result. I remember saving money to get eye fillers to eliminate the oldness under my eyes and after so much research i realized that i have to keep getting those fillers every year or two because it isn't permanent and i'm like what's the point because these things aren't cheap so i rather find methods or ways that i can you know fill my dark circles naturally at home without spending a lot of money so one of the first ways to treat your dark circles naturally or at home is with sunscreen so sun exposure can cause dark circles a lot of us go under the sun unprotected and this can affect the skin around our eyes so wearing broad spectrum sunscreen around the eye is really important to prevent other dark circles and to prevent ultraviolet radiation there are a lot of sunscreens available for you to use there's a chemical and there's a mineral sunscreen you know i have both the only reason why i prefer to use a chemical sunscreen over a mineral sunscreen is because of the white cast that mineral sunscreen gives apart from that they both work fine i know a lot of people struggle with some chemical sunscreens but I've been through different trial and errors with chemical sunscreen that I finally found the one that worked for me and I've stuck with that ever since. So you want to find what works for you basically and use that and stick with that because at the end of the day, we're trying to protect the skin from the ultraviolet radiation that affects our skin. So I have about two or three videos on my channel about sunscreens where I put everything down to the types and uses of sunscreens. I'm going to link it you know, in the description or somewhere around the screen so make sure to check it out. So besides sunscreens, you need to invest in protective clothing such as sunglasses, even face caps and hats, but particularly sunglasses because this will help to protect the skin around our eyes. You want to cover your eyes because the skin on our eyes is very delicate and if you do not protect them, it will get even worse. So you want to travel as possible to eliminate sun exposure to your skin and to your eyes. So alongside using my sunscreens, I always try to you know, put on my sunglasses before leaving the house. You know those big plastic ones that cover like basically your cheeks to your brows? I use that a lot when I'm going out because I'm like, I don't want anything to affect the skin around my eyes. It's almost like when I'm going out, I'll put on my sunglasses even with my face cap just to protect my skin properly and this has really helped me to eliminate dark circles and to maintain my results. Another thing that you want to do is you want to reduce your sodium intake. So if you eat a lot of salt, you are more likely to have fluid retention underneath your eyes and once you start to have that, it's going to make your dark circles appear worse. I love tasty foods, I love to spice my foods. A lot of Nigerian meals has to do with a lot of not chicken flavor aka maggi, salt, spices to make the food really tasty. But what I've learned to do now is I've tried to reduce my sodium intake to the barest minimum by using other types of spices that still makes my food really tasty without consuming so much sodium. So another thing that's worked for me is using beauty accessories and other preventive methods. So Apart from the fact that I use, you know, the turmeric eye mask to cure my dark circles, I also try to maintain my results using other accessories like jade roller, using cold compressor, using like the removable eye mask as well. This has also helped me to maintain my results. For example, the jade roller, I use that to massage, you know, underneath my eyes. I have a video on this as well. I'll also link it to this video. You know, so what I do is I put the jade roller in the fridge first so that before I use it, it feels more therapeutic. So I use it to massage my eyes and what this does is that it helps to drain out like fluid stuck under my eyes. It also improves blood circulation as well. And also invest in other eye creams or eye patches that contain vitamin K or caffeine, especially with caffeine. Caffeine really helps to, you know, cure dark circles and eye bags. So caffeine helps to tighten the skin under the eyes and it also helps to suit inflammation. Just like a jade roller, it also helps to 
flush and fluids from underneath the eyes, thereby improving the overall look of the eye. Puffy eyes and eye bags will make your dark circles and hyperpigmentation appear much worse. So by doing all of these methods, it's going to help you reduce the swelling, puffiness. It's also helping to, you know, brighten up your under eye. But you should know that doing all of this alone will not totally help you to eradicate your dark circles, but it will go a long way to help you to reduce the appearance of them. Another thing that can help or contribute to reducing your dark circles or eye bags is using elevated pillows. So just like what the jade roller and the caffeine does, by using elevated pillow, it's going to help you to, you know, flush out fluids from underneath your eyes. Because when you sleep in a lower pillow, you tend to retain fluids underneath your eyes. But by doing this, generally and naturally, it just you know, helps you to pass out fluid underneath your eye easily. Like I said before, all this will not help you to totally eradicate your dark circles, but it will help you minimize the appearance of them, which is very important. So another thing that could cause dark circles is allergies. Allergies tend to worsen dark circles because you tend to rub your eyes, you tend to cry, you tend to sneeze, and in the process, you start to retain fluid underneath your eyes. So you can treat this by using over-the-counter medications for allergies or self-care methods at home by using cold compresses or oil compresses underneath your eyes. For me, I've noticed that when I use makeup or concealer around my eyes, it irritates my eyes and I start to cry. So what I do now is before makeup, I like to use hot water compress to, you know, you know bring out the fluid from my eyes. And then I use this eye drop for dry eyes. This will help me to, you know, stop the irritation and I would not have to tear up while I'm doing my makeup. I've been following these methods for a while now and I've indeed seen my dark circles reduce. Like before, I used to be so insecure leaving my house without makeup because people would see me ask me, are you okay? And I hated it. But now, I can go out without makeup confidently and I also get compliments. You know, so my advice is don't rush the process, be consistent and be patient and you will see your dark circles, you know, reduce. One other advice I can give you is that if you take your time with the process, you tend to have a longer lasting result. So be patient and be consistent especially if you're prone to dark circles you know you don't expect that you stop all this and it won't come back like I said before it's just like losing weight you can't just stop dieting and exercising and expect that oh you're gonna have the weight all forever it will come back you regain the weight right back so be consistent so these are the tips that I have for you and this is what I have done so far to help me to maintain my results and to keep the dark circles off so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you found it very helpful if you did like and subscribe also share to those people that you know that are suffering from dark circles and whatnot so this could help them as well uh, with that being said i'll see you guys next time bye